Well guys, if your power supply has a noisy fan and is making a weird noise, let's not confuse that with coil wine, you can easily fix it in around 10 minutes. So today we have this PC here. I have had a budget build with this PC on the channel, so you can go check that one out if you haven't already. And unfortunately the power supply has a noisy fan. So we'll go ahead and show you how to fix it. It's gonna be super simple. You will only need one screwdriver, some oil, I will tell you which kind of oil and you will need to discharge your computer. So the reason why I cannot let you hear the noise in this video is that I have let this PC sit here for 24 hours so that there would be no electricity whatsoever in it. And now I will also show you how to discharge it further. Basically what you want to do is go in the back with a power supply and short the PSU out after it drained all the power from the motherboard. So after we will have done that, we will then be able to go ahead, open up the power supply and fix the fan. This tutorial will actually be very similar to my how to fix a noisy GPU fan tutorial, but it's gonna be, again, slightly different because it's a power supply and not a GPU. So let's get started, but first, Promise me one thing, if this video ends up being helpful, please you will drop a like and subscribe, okay? Let's go. Step one, fully discharging the system. First, you wanna unplug it from the current, put it on turned on and spam the power button to drain the power. Hold it for a while as well, okay? So this will completely discharge it. At this point, you wanna grab a screwdriver and short the pins on the back, right there. You wanna short all three in all three different combinations right there. At this point, the PSU is fully discharged and we can go ahead and get out of the PC and start dismounting. Now, me personally, I don't want to dismount the whole PC, so I will do the work while keeping the PC pretty much intact. Perfect. So after I'm screwing it, we just take the unit out. Again, I will do it more difficult because I don't want to dismount the whole thing. So I will work on it while the PSU is like this. Now, in my case, unfortunately, we also have a shroud, so we have to take off the shroud as well. And then the screws you want to take off are these four right here. Now, if you have to open up the power supply fully, you have to also undo one, two, three, and four screws. But in our case, we only want access to the actual rotor of the fan. Now, another fix for this is to replace the whole fan. If you want to do that, obviously you will have to open up the whole thing and just replace the fan, which is probably going to be easier, sure. However, you will have to probably solder it or find a compatible fan. In my case, we're just going to pull this fan out by being gentle because we don't want to break it. But by pulling it out, we'll be able to just replace the oil in this one. So now I will go ahead and try to do it. And here we are. But this time, unfortunately, the rotor came off with the fan. So I did actually break it but this can happen to you as well. So I will show you how to navigate this unlucky circumstance, okay? Here is what I broke and what you shouldn't break. So in this case, the whole rotor came off of the base because it was just glued in. This is because I didn't manage to hold it down. You should hold it down. But now we will just separate the rotor from the actual bearing. Let me show you better right there. Then lubricate it, then glue it back in place and it will be perfectly fine still. So you can be chilled out in the whole process and worst case scenario, you just replace the fan, okay? We will do it today as well if we don't manage to do this, but let's go ahead. I wanna show it to you with no filters. Well guys, unfortunately this fan was just too old and the rotor just would not come out. So I will still show you in case you have 90% of the power supply so you can do this. Basically, you just need to pull this one off of this and then under here you will have a tiny pin and I will show you what oil to put here. I will then show you what to do if this happens to you, okay? So this is the oil you need to use. It is Singer oil, sewing machine oil. And again, I do recommend you also watch my how to fix a noisy GPU fan video, because at this point, once you have it open, the application process is the same. You just put a little drop on the pin inside the fan and you're done. But what happens if you break your fan? Well, you will need to replace it. So let's go ahead and okay, let's move forward to replacing the actual fan. So this, we just throw it away and you have to now pick a new fan. Now, any 120 millimeters fan will work. Now I picked an Octua because these are really quiet and your power supply is gonna be running all the time. So you want it to be quiet, but these are kind of expensive. I do recommend you get an Arctic P12 or an Arctic F12, if you want. They're super cheap. Now, as you can see on the power supply, we just have a black and a red cable. And here on the fan, we have a black and red cable. However, on some fans, these cables might be of a different color. So by looking at this straight on front with the little uh, thing here looking at you, 
you want to use the two most right points. This is the same for any fan. So this is ground and this is 12 volt. So you just want to use these. You want to cut them here, wire them back there. Super simple. Let me show you how to do it. Now for this, you will need to open up the power supply, unfortunately. So the four more screws we need to take off, okay? The fourth one is always hidden right here. And we now have our power supply open. So at this point, this has a shroud which will come out, as you can see. And now we have our fan free to go. Now, if you do this initially, it will be much easier for you. So I do actually recommend you do this. Now, this thing over here, it is better to keep it, okay? So you wanna keep it over here because this way you will direct all the airflow over the components. So if it has some plastic, you wanna keep the plastic, okay? And now we wanna just unscrew this and basically solder these to this, okay? Super simple. You don't actually need to solder them, by the way. So let's go. I took this off and I am putting it back on the new fan. This is not really necessary, but it's just to keep the design intact, if it makes sense. Okay, so it's now wire cutting time. Now you wanna keep the length of the cable to be basically the same. So we will cut this one here and this one right here as to keep the same length. Let's go ahead and do it. The yellow wire, I have cut it short and I will be isolating it with some duct tape. Be sure to use electric tape for all of this because it can get very dangerous if you don't. At this point, it's finally time to splice those wires and plug them into here. Now, obviously you can just use a little point of soldering, but I find that you don't actually need it for cable this small. I actually prefer not to solder them. I find it's easier and uh, surprisingly, it also lasts more. I think it might be because of my poor soldering skills, to be honest. So we have our fan ready, but now before mounting it back, we want to make sure that it works. So how we do that is we just quickly plug the PC in and test it. However, I don't recommend you actually do that because it would then charge up the PSU. And again, these can hold the electricity in for quite a while. So if you don't have an adapter to use, and at this moment I don't, I will just trust my skills and just quickly mount it back. Now be sure to put the plastic shield the way it originally was. So in my case, it was directly in here. And then you wanna plug this one down under and route the cable to reach the plug. So from here, you just route it. And as you can see, we did a very, very tight fit, which is actually what we wanted. And we want the cable to just run all the way from the back right here. So like this, if it makes sense. There we go. Now obviously before mounting everything back, first test it out. And as you can see, it's running perfectly fine. Absolutely zero noise. That Noxo fan obviously is probably one of the quietest on the market. And I think the PC looks nice as well. So let's cut to the actual conclusion about the PSU and some final recommendations. Well. At this point, I think any of you can do it and it's very easy to actually fix fans in general. Even if you go ahead and actually break the fan, as we have unfortunately done, just a quick replacement is very easy to do. It is actually easier than on GPUs, in my opinion. PSUs are pretty easy to do. But be sure to follow, again, the safety things I told you because power supplies are very dangerous. It's also why I choose, as the name of the channel, I'm watering PSUs because washing power supplies to clean them is definitely most, more difficult than washing other things. So by the way, in case it's the first time you see me, consider checking out the channel. I have many builds, tutorials, under vaulting, overclocking guys, etc. And I hope the video was helpful and maybe even entertaining a bit. See you in the next one and maybe drop a like and a sub. Bye guys.